And I'm going to choose this tool, Offline NT Password and Registry Editor. And it just boots a little mini Linux kernel there. I'm going to choose option one um, to give it the system boot partition. And I'm going to choose to load the registry hive database. And notice my options here, um, recovery console parameters or password reset. So I could, you know, if I wanted to go into recovery console and um, run commands and copy files and things, but I'm going to choose option one, uh, password reset, to edit the security account manager local SAM database. And notice my options here. I could edit user data and passwords. I could load the registry editor and edit the registry. Again, I'm going to choose option one, edit user data and passwords. Notice here's all my user accounts listed. Administrator, C Germany, guest, help, assistant, support. In the right column under lock with the question mark, it shows me the ones that are disabled or locked. The two at the top are not. They're enabled accounts. And let's just look at some of the different options that we can perform or that we can do with this tool. Um, so if I choose the default administrator, I can go through and let's see my options here. I can clear the password. I can edit the password. I can promote the user, make the user an administrator, unlock and enable a user account. Um, you know, in this case, it's unlocked already. So for this option, I'm just going to clear or blank the password for administrator. Choose option one, and notice it tells me password cleared. I'm going to try a different user, C Germany. And for C Germany, I'm going to edit his password and change it. So, and I'll just make it four characters, pass. And it tells me password changed. And now I want to access another account. Um, let me access the uh, guest account here. And it's, you know, disabled <coughs> or locked. So I'm, I want to unlock and enable it. I'm going to choose option four. And now that account is unlocked. Okay. And so now I'm going to go ahead and exit and quit. And I'm going to go ahead and save those changes. I'm going to write the registry hive and database back and the security account manager. Um, and then in this case, I'm done. It's our little mini Linux kernel there, but I've used this tool on lots of different machines. So, you know, I didn't have a password. Nobody left me a password, and I had to get into the machine to try to repair it or fix it. It's a great tool.